For the longest time, our people were uh, discouraged from uh, doing something we've always done, and is to have a social activity where we sing songs, dance, tell stories, and maybe some ceremonies. Um, and uh, but I'm glad we kept kept it going. I remember uh, two lovely elderly ladies from our reservation that really encouraged the young people to keep on singing, keep on dancing, okay? And uh, the, the names were uh, Blanche Jocko was one, and the other one Josephine Green Manitowabi, okay? And uh, they really, really were inspiring to all of us young people to, to keep this going. Okay, and I'm glad we listened. <clears throat> now, we're going to talk about powwow. Okay, uh, we call it a jinktamuk in our language. All right, <coughs> and um, it's a social event. Okay, and uh, it's where we meet people. Uh, when I first started going to powwows, I was probably five or six years old. I didn't get to dance, though, till I was about 10, maybe, something like that. And uh, back then, there was, there, maybe there was just one powwow in one area uh, in, a, in, a, in a summer. Now, there's several powwows in several areas every weekend, okay? So, um, I, uh, we started going to these powwows as, as a, at when I, my children got uh, of age to dance, okay? So we started going to these powwows. Uh, I uh, sold shirts like this, uh, tapes, language tapes, books. Uh, my wife did some jewelry. It was a really nice time to, nice place to raise your kids, okay? And uh, we traveled all over the place. Anyways, uh, at one time, uh, it was at the St. Ignis powwow. I uh, was visiting with this elder. His name was Joe Miguanabe, okay? And uh, he went to school with my dad. And uh, <coughs> so he saw me selling tapes and, and books, and he told me that this is, this is, we need this in our culture. We need to save and preserve our language. And one of the things that really caught my uh, ear to him was he says, we need language at our powwows, at our gatherings. We need to hear it. Everybody needs to hear it. And then uh, so we sat down that weekend, and we started creating these words. Um, uh, you know, the different songs, the different dances, and different things like that. Um, so that's what I'm going to teach you today. Uh, another person that helped me with this project, uh, 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 his name was Do Joe Miguanabe Ba. Okay, I, I, I made a mistake there. Okay, and then the other one is Doris Buzno Ba. Okay, she helped me a lot with this project too. So remember them as we're doing these... Uh, as we were doing this lesson. And uh, after my kids got a little older, uh, our family, we only had two seasons, okay? Powwow season and hockey season. That was it, okay? <laughs> and uh, so anyways, here, here we go. We're going to start off. Okay, the word powwow is jinktamuk, okay? That's the way we, we, old people said it, and that's the way we say it here. Okay. So, first thing is we have a drum, okay? A dewe gun is, okay, that's what they call that, okay? And when you hit that, it's, it represents the heartbeat of our people, okay? And we use these to hit the drum. A dewe gunatig, okay? A dewe gunatigun for the plural, <clears throat> okay? Now, we got some green coming up now. All right. Okay, I'll hold it like this a little bit. All right, so we have the drum arbor. Adewe gamek. Adewe ge gamek, I'm sorry. Adewe ge gamek is for the drum arbor. <coughs> okay. And we have the singers. Okay. All right. So we call uh, a, a singer nagamo nene, okay, for the male, nagamo nenwok 
for plural, and for these ladies in the back, Nagamo Nini Kwe, for one, Nagamo Nini Kwek, for the plural. Okay? So, uh, the, uh, just the drum, if you're just drumming, you say, Adewege Nene, for the drummer. Okay, what else do we see at the powwow? Okay, we see our flags. Okay, Ake Ewin is a flag. Ake Ewinan, for flags, plural. And Ake, you hear that word Ake in there, that means the earth. Okay, and that Ake Ewin is our sign of the earth. Okay, this is, this is who, who we are. Okay, that's how, that's our flag. Okay, uh, these didn't come from us. Okay, now we have head veterans and a grand entry. Okay, now some of you may recognize this head veteran. He's pretty popular. Okay. And for the head veteran, Niga ne ne shi ne ne is the head veteran. Okay? If it's a male. Now if it's a female, Niga ne ne shi ne ni kwe. For the head female. Okay? <coughs> now, for the grand entry. Okay? Here's to you, Joe Megwane ba ba. Okay? We came up with this word. Okay? Chitwa Bindige Jenegamwin is the grand entry song, the dance. Chitwa Bindige Jigawin is for the grand entry, the, da the dance itself. Okay? All right. You got all that? All right. We might quiz you at the end. <clears throat> all right. Now, the veterans honor. We always honor our veterans. As part of our procedure at uh, Jingtamok, okay? Jemagnishi na ja jinagamwin is the song, okay? Jemagnishi na ja jigawin is the honor dance, okay? Just the honor dance, you just say na ja jinagamwin, I mean for the song, na ja jigawin for the dance. Okay, and these are our future right here. These are our future of honoring people. Okay, now we're going to go to the different categories now of the, diff the dances. <coughs> okay, the men traditional. Okay, oldest style of dance that we have. Okay, and we call this, the, the song, we say, Kchitnishinabe Jinagamwin. Okay. Great. We're, that's why we're saying that kch on the, at the beginning there. Okay. For the dance, kch nishnabe jigawin. Okay. That's the dance. Man, traditional. Okay. Now, the grass. Okay. A newer form of dance. Okay. The song, mi jashk jinagamwin. The, the dance, mi jashk jigawin. All right. Okay, see. Oh, I feel good doing this, remembering my, the people that helped me with this. And the, the fancy dance, okay? This one was a little challenging for us because uh, it's relatively new. And then we noticed most of the people that dance in that category were young men, okay? So that's what we called it. And you, some of you may recognize this young man. Well, he's an old man now, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, Frankie. Okay. The song, fancy fancy dance song, okay? Shkinwe jinagamwin. The dance, shkinwe jigawin. All right. Women now. Okay? Women traditional. <coughs> Again, we're going to use that kch in there. Okay? All the style of dance for these ladies, okay? Kche Anishnabe Kwe Jinagamwin is the song. Okay. Kche Anishnabe Kwe Jigawin is the dance. All right. Jingle dress. Again, a new one. 
Okay, this one was real easy. This was Doris's uh, style of dance when she danced, okay? I'm glad I got to see her too, okay? Uh, she's passed away now, okay? Okay, so, so the song, Mshkeki Jenegamwen is the song for the jingle dress. And for the dance, Mshkeki Jegawin, okay? <laughs> now, the young women, shawl, the fancy shawl dancers, okay? Again, we use the word young because most of these are young women, okay? So, we use that word, Shkini Kwe, Jenegamwen, for the song, Shkini Kwe, Jegawin, for the dance, okay? <clears throat> now, I used to dance years and years and years ago, and then when I, when I had my kids, I danced with them, okay? And my oldest two danced grass for a while, and then uh, later on, my oldest, Sam Ba, uh, went to a traditional style, okay? And my little guy, well, he was started off traditional, then he went into fancy, okay? And, uh, but this is mostly what I do now when I don't dance, is this stuff, okay? The MC, okay? So th it wasn't hard to find uh, <coughs> um, a word for this guy, okay? Gigito nene, okay? Plural, gigito nenwok, okay? Female, okay? Gigito nenikwe, plural, gigito nenikwek, all right? Now, the MC, or the arena director, okay? Nagan zit. Very simple, nagan zit. But you know what that means? The boss, okay? He's in charge of the arena. Any activity going on in there, he's, you gotta go through him, okay? <clears throat> now I'm gonna show you some other pictures. This one's got green. But I wanna show you these pictures of these, our youth participating in these dances. Okay, we want to encourage them to keep on doing this because it's, it's what's going to keep our culture and, and our language, everything intact. Because nobody else does this, just us. Okay, so we got the little traditional dancer. Okay. We got the little grass dancer. Fancy. Okay, I got a... <laughs> I, I, when I saw this picture, I couldn't resist, okay? This is a really, really high-spirited fancy dancer. Check him out, okay? Okay, <laughs> he looks so cute. He's serious, okay? Now the girls, okay? The girls, traditional, right there, okay? And who are these guys? Oh, the jingle dress dancers for the girls and the shawl okay look at those serious look in her face okay she's not thinking about what she's going to have for dinner she's thinking about that song and she's dancing to it she feels good dancing for her people her mom her dad okay and you know all of these what we wear in our dance outfit there's there are no two alike they're all individual Okay, and when we come in, and in our, where did it go now? Oh, here it is. Look at those. Look at all those different outfits. Every one of them is different. Handmade. You didn't go to Kmart to buy those. Okay, all right. So <clears throat> that's my little presentation of uh, Jinktamuk to you. And... Uh, the next time I do uh, uh, a lesson on Jinktamuk, I'll do the, the different types of dances, like the crow hop, sneak up, all those kind of things. Okay, we came up with some words too, but you may, other areas may say them a little different, but uh, that's what we came up here with my elders here in uh, this part of Michigan. So you're welcome to use these words at your, at your gatherings, okay? And yeah, I do encourage them, and especially the MCs. Okay, you're the one with the microphone there, okay? And uh, spread the word, tell the people our language, okay? So this is Kenny Pheasant, Mac Brushman. We're signing off another time on our show, Endai Ying.